everyone welcome back to our channel this is Natalie with Natalie and mom's kitchen and hi everyone this is mom we will be right back with what we refer to as Yuki Kanapke or sandwiches we'll be right back Okay, so welcome back. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie and Mom's Kitchen, and welcome to any new subscribers, and welcome back to our existing subscribers. Uh, if you are new to our channel and haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you'd go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, as well as the notification bell next to that. If you'd be willing to give this video a thumbs up and share it, that would be awesome too. So, as I mentioned, these are what we call Yuki Kanapke or yuki meaning referring to ukrainian it's a term of endearment to other yukis yeah. saying yuki but um <laughs> yuki sandwiches which we make open-faced uh so i'm only going to make a few i mean we're making it for dinner well we actually make it for dinner and then they get better as they sit in the fridge so we'll have them for dinner tomorrow also but then all the flavors are going to be really melded and it's really good then well, it's good to begin with, it's but it gets better. With, but yeah, when they but, stick together. Um, the only thing is you have to remember is the tomatoes because they get watery. Sometimes they have to sit on top of the cheese or something so they don't sog into the bread. bread. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and we prepared everything because if we actually sat here and chopped all of this and did this on camera, this would be like a two-hour video. So we have everything prepared. Uh, we use rye bread seedless rye bread um you can use whatever bread you want <clears throat> the um the base it's the base good. the base the spread. um the spread that we we make is uh a, a block of cream cheese and how much butter uh to the block of like three slices of so like three tablespoons of butter. uh butter and then you balance. just um mix it or you know uh, yeah, mix it or blend it, and then we add uh, paprika to it for flavor. Obviously, not color because I mean you could. It's a little bit tinged pink, but it's more for flavor than color. And then we use ham. Uh, this is just uh, our local grocery store's public. Oh no, this is Boar's Head uh, uh, deluxe, deluxe ham. ham. And then we slice up pickles, green onion. Tomatoes typically we use a full tomato, but this is what we had they're little cherry tomatoes So we were slicing them up which That can be interesting <laughs> um, and then we we use yellow American cheese and hard-boiled eggs uh, Different people have different spreads They change it up a little bit. So I mean you can really do whatever you want um, What else have we done cream well, cheese and we, with with the dance group in Chicago when they would do it under the church they had a, a combination with a little bit of liver sausage in it. Oh yeah, they. But we don't right. have that. We don't, I don't have that down, so I don't. Yeah, want we to don't know what the what the um, measurements yeah, are for fine. what the best way to do it is. Uh, yeah. As far as with the liver sausage. And the other thing, real quick, a friend of mine, they said they put a tiny bit of anchovies in there. Okay, I don't know about that. I know, but I know, but I'm saying that you can put almost anything you want. Seasoning, some sort of a dry seasoning. Right, but as, as far as for the church, I think they just basically did. But then, yeah, when we were there, it was a long cheese. time ago. It was cream cheese and butter with, I think, the paprika. But you can, like she said, you can do any variation that you want to do. But this is when the Yuki's talk, and we talk about Yuki Kanapke, which, of course, we mentioned it on our recent Zoom, fam Zoom family chat, we all lit up at yes. the idea of Yuki Kanapke uh, because it's just something that a lot of 
churches seem to have served at one time after or another this, after right. mass. Because it was the, a way for fundraising for, for right. the church. So you uh, make, everybody makes things. And, and um, that that's where we used to get them every week was at the, in the church hall. So um, you just, I mean, and you can use as much as you want of the spread. We already cut up the pieces of bread, but we just do a light layer. Oops, sorry, I didn't realize it wasn't on camera. Okay, that was a little bit too light, but... <clears throat> so you can use as much or as little as you want. And then... Yeah, this would be for about, what did we say, 22? About 22 sandwiches. sandwiches. And, and the rye bread is cut in half. So that I'm just going to... I did wash my hands, guys, so... Wait, didn't you, weren't you going to cut one of these in half so I had extra pieces? I was going to and I forgot. Because the, I mean, I, sorry, depending on where you get your ham sliced or how large the pieces are or how big the bread pieces are, if you do a full piece versus cutting them in half like we did, you may just need to kind of play around. And we got it sliced thin because that's how we like it. Um... So I'm just going to kind of... Yeah, some people fold it over, some people... Make right, it even and it all depends, like I said, it all depends on how big the piece of ham is to the piece of bread that you're doing. And then we typically do two pieces of cheese per sandwich. We just kind of... What? Little triangles. We do triangles. I mean, you guys could do whatever you want, but this is the traditional way that you'll see. If you look it up online, you'd see pictures of sandwiches, or the Yuki sandwiches. And then one piece of egg typically in the center. Piece the, of pickle. The pickles would be round, full round slices. Yeah, we only had left. the dill spears, so. Nothing like thinking. Um, so then we always put the tomatoes on top of the cheese. And then a little sprinkling of green onions. So, I mean, it's, it's really, this is also a good thing as an appetizer if you're having friends over or whatever, or a party, or... Seriously? It's all coming out. I mean, it was like one big piece of spread on my knife. I mean, so gee. <laughs> the presentation is everything, but um, when you put the knife, I just put the knife all the way down, and let me tell you, it's stuck. So, I mean, these are really, really fun and really, really yummy, and it's something we do enjoy. And like I said, we normally make... We prepare enough and make enough uh, to have it for two meals, sometimes even a third for her. Ham. Oops. Oh, yeah, ham. Sorry, guys. Well, typically what we would do if this wasn't being filmed is we first spread all the bread. Put right. Them down so they're all on a flat, in a flat, uh, so they're not one on top of the other or anything like that at this point. Then we put down the cheese. Then we put, you know, we just kind of like a little bit of a... Okay, the that? cheese is falling apart for some reason. Oh, sorry about that. I think she did a little too thin. <clears throat> oh, well. That's, it is what it is. I like to be, I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to this <laughs> kind of okay. stuff. So, so. Not, I know, we're nuts, actually, is what we are. <laughs> but Some people put radishes, a slice of radish on them also. Um, you just actually put whatever you want. When we were in Ukraine, remember, we had um, your one aunt, when they made the sandwiches, they simply had the, a butter mixture, or some kind of a butter, maybe even with mayo, I'm not entirely sure. And then they just put little salmon caviar yeah. on it. Yeah, yum. Those they have, just, yeah, the salmon caviar over there. Oh, it was delicious. It, it came was. in a can, and uh, so, so yummy. Yeah. So, I mean, seriously, you, you guys can do whatever... You want actually that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm only gonna do a couple just so you guys and the first layer there, yeah. I thought you were wanting to tell them other stuff. I can't remember though. What was I gonna tell? I don't know. I I can't remember if it was other variations of stuff. I mean I know you just said that, but I thought you I don't remember. <laughs> we're really good at not remembering these days. I swear both of our brains are on overload. Uh rye bread is best fresh rye bread because it's 
that's what typically the sandwiches are made of because there's usually Polish or Ukrainian delic delicatessens around or Jewish rye bread, um, Polish rye, Ukrainian rye, because those are, they're, they're a little bit um, firmer, denser breads than the ones you might get at a grocery store. <clears throat> and that's really the best base bread that we've ever tried. It just doesn't make it on white or... Like on like a Wonder Bread or something. It right, just it right. falls apart too easily. <clears throat> but I mean, you know, if you don't like rye bread, I don't like the caraway seeds that are in right. some rye bread, so, so we, we get, get seedless. Um, I think we've always done it when I think about it. We, we have. I'm just them. saying that depending on where you are, they right. may have the seeded one. and um, Or if you have the option or whichever way you prefer it. And if you want to try it on a Wonder Bread or on a, you know some other kind of a bread, Go ahead, feel you know. For, for parties, if you're going to do it as a small appetizer, the little pumpernickel square uh, pumpernickel oh, yeah. breads, those are good to do it on. And then you just cut, you know, you cut, slice your ham and cheese and all that proportionately to it. And they're just so colorful and they make a pretty presentation. This The aroma is just incredible. It is. The house, you just smell it. Yeah. Everywhere. The, the onions, the tomatoes, the pickles, that all that just comes out. And they're very, very tasty and filling and fun. And they're not, it's not an expensive proposition either. No, it's uh, not. Truly. Sorry, guys. I told you I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to this, and I'm almost wanting to break up a couple, another piece of ham to fill in the spots. Do what you want to do. You know, that's it's perfectly fine. Everybody has their own style. That's the beauty of it. Everybody has their own style. Some people have actually managed to make, when, uh, when we were down here, when we were at an event, I came across roll-ups in this. So this is like something more more contemporary, where the ham um, and all those ingredients were inside on a, on a white bread in that case, which is you know flattened out like for tea sandwiches and things. And then it was rolled up, and that was really tasty. It looked beautiful when they sliced it up. I never would have thought of that. So that's an option. And like she was saying, and that's kind of why I did it this way, where I was um, uh, doing multiple pieces. I know you guys aren't seeing the pieces off to the side, but I promise you they look exactly the same. Uh, but we do them in an assembly line, and we'll have like large, round um, serving dishes, and we'll just lay out all the bread. We'll put the uh, spread on it, then we'll do all the ham, and then... One of us will be doing the cheese while the other one is doing, you know, so we kind of, so it's a quicker, it um, you said it earlier, but okay. I forgot what it was. Uh, but that way it goes quicker, but I just wanted to kind of sort of have something to so show you guys. we're having for dinner today. You can have this with soup if you want, but truthfully, I love these just by themselves. Yeah, and these are actually very filling. Yeah, they are. Some so, people don't like green onions or maybe don't like onions, period. Maybe they, that, I don't know how it would, if it would be awesome or not, but uh, maybe, I don't know, parsley, dill, just a tiny bit for color in that case for somebody who doesn't like onions. Um, and the other thing is um, when we, uh, we used to do crumbled tomatoes or crunched up tomatoes also and the onions were, everything was just kind of dolloped and that became too way too messy it's already messy enough with the green yeah. onions but they're too fun so it doesn't matter so i voila this is what we made so if you guys try this i'd love to hear what you guys think or if you made it again if you guys made changes or use something different whether on the spread or the toppings let us know uh, but i would love to hear if you do end up doing this i'd love to hear what you guys think what was it with, yeah. you know what did you did you really like it uh is it just a yuki thing that we all love if we grew up on it <laughs> i don't know but i mean i know it may look like just a fancy maybe not even fancy but a open face sandwich no big deal but it's somehow the combination of all of this and like i said the key of it is is it's sitting for at least a few hours before you eat it and the spread Spread is a big well, the spread is too. Yeah, not versus just using cream cheese or just using butter. But uh, 
And again, remember, we put some paprika to taste in it also. But uh, the other than the spread, the big key is it's sitting for a few hours, which we're going to be eating it now because it's dinner time. But we're going to put the rest of them prepared like this with a little a light layer of saran wrap loosely on it into the fridge and have it for tomorrow for dinner. And it's going to be, or lunch, lunch maybe even, even breakfast. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Well, we do it any time of day, depending on when it is we have a mood for it or we get it together. But that is the big key is when it's had a chance to sit for a few hours and all the flavors, you know, the, the, the spread obviously doesn't absorb into the bread, but the bread collects a lot of the flavors and it just is really, really tasty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's a little bit more in-depth than what we've been doing, but not like crazy in-depth. Uh, but it is something that is a not only a familial favorite, but it's something that we used to get at the church. Almost like a cultural thing. It is, because, like I mean, whether culture. it's a Yuki yeah. in Texas, yeah. a Yuki in New York, a Yuki in Chicago, it seems to be everybody knows Yuki Kanapka. So right. <laughs> it just, yeah. and everybody gets equally as excited about it. Like my mom had posted a picture of the last time we made it, she took a picture of the plate and she posted it on Facebook. And I mean, everybody was commenting like, oh my God, I want some, I need to make some, I need to whatever. Yeah. That's so it is, it is maybe a cultural thing, but again, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, and you know, I love all the comments and hearing back. Several of you have either tried the recipes the way we did it or said you were going to try it, but do it a different way or add something or whatever, or you have something very similar but it's a little bit different. You know, I love, we both love mm -hmm. going through the comments and hearing what you guys say. So, you know, if you guys don't mind continuing to do that, that would be awesome. And uh, enjoy whenever it is you decide to make it. So I think that's it. I did originally say, if you watched my Pampered Chef unboxing video, I originally said that I was gonna post this on today, Sunday, because that's when we were having it for dinner. But I, I was trying to stick to a schedule of our recipes being posted on Monday. So I will be posting this tomorrow on Monday, the June 28th, 29th, sorry. So again, enjoy it. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, stay safe and healthy. I, oh, yeah. Um, again, if you guys are new, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button as well as the notification bell next to that and hitting it to all and giving it a like. And if you're willing to share it, that would be awesome. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you guys have some Yuki friends or something, but you never know. So I, we both appreciate um, any support, all of your support and anything, you know, if you guys ever do share it. So thanks so much. And in Ukrainian, we say huh? which is enjoy or bon appetit. Bon appetit. Yeah. No. So, so smachnaha. And Look we will see you it. soon. Yeah. So we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Love, hugs, and prayers. Remember, stay safe and healthy. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. This is Natalie with Natalie and Mom's Kitchen, and... Hi, Mom. I mean, hi. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> a blooper right from the start. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. This is Natalie with Natalie and Mom's Kitchen, and... Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Natalie with Nat. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Natalie with Natalie and Mom's Kitchen and Hi everyone, this is Mom. Okay, so today as I promised yes, well, actually I pr promised. Damn it. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Natalie with Natalie and Mom's Kitchen and Hi everyone, this is Mom. So today we are making 